Sing oh, 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 look what we found. <laughs> Finally. Oh, my God. Finally, you guys. Nice. Okay. Man, that took a long time. <laughs> took a long time. Oh, I'm so happy. My life is complete now. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth on the Purge. I'm the Bearded OG, and we have another little boss group that came in. Uh, well, I don't know if it's a little boss group. Oh, shit. No, it's, it's, it's a big boss group. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's a sizable horde. Um... I have been uh, just, you know, doing some mining and working on the base, and I just finished repairing the uh, tower. All the, so all the blocks at the base of our tower are now repaired. Um, and uh, and then I've been working on the the horde base a little bit here too. Since the doctor is out in front, let's see if we can kill her first. Uh, oh, another doctor. Okay, she's dead. That'll remove the healing. Um, I could try and kill all these guys with my bullets, but then I'm going to be out of bullets again. I um, only have a 150. So I might end up... Oh, there's still a healer over there. I might end up just molotoving these guys because... Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, keeping enough ammo to do all of this is so difficult to do. Is probably our best bet at this point. You're just a normal. Trying to make every shot count as much as possible here. Okay, let's do this too. Um, get some help. Might as well have our mercenary help us out here. Nick, you doing up okay, buddy? Yeah, he's doing okay. Wow, look at that sword. That's a cool looking sword, man. Like a vibro blade or something. All right, well, that takes care of those assholes. I think. Uh, maybe there wasn't a boss with them. I thought there was, but... The thing is, is... On the purge, I don't get the... Death is descending from the sky message, you know, when the boss shows up. It just kind of happens. At least I don't think I do. Like I said, I kind of get this playthrough, you know, mixed up with other playthroughs. Alrighty, back to this. Uh, we are going to go out and look for another uh, a tabletop stove. That's kind of our main goal for this episode. But um, I'm just trying to I'm just playing around a little bit with a configuration here. Uh, if you guys saw, I guess it was the last episode where we, we got attacked and I tried to fight them here. Uh, several of them got up on the roof, and so I'm just playing around with some ideas here for, you know, putting in an overhang so that that doesn't happen. What? Those must have connected to... Oh, yeah, okay. I see what happened there. They connected to the the other things. Um, But how do I then... Here's the thing. How do I then get... Uh, oh, and I, I have another uh, layer of the 
force field blocks in, um, and I'm continuing to work on getting those upgraded. So it's coming along. You know, as soon as we get the force field blocks completely done, um, and I get this front end reinforced, you know, we, we could start using this. I mean, I am going to enclose the entire thing in eventually, but, you know, just, it, it's, it's harder to do this stuff in Rebirth. Let me put it that way. <laughs> and I'm not complaining. You know, I love the mod. I think I, I love what it's doing, but yeah, it just takes longer to do stuff like this. Um... Right now, so if I, I don't think this block is going to, uh, yeah. will it attach to the end of that? Probably not. Let, let's just play with it a minute. We'll put it on advanced rotation. I don't think it will though. Um, yeah, see I need it to be at that angle. Actually flip the other way, though. Yeah, uh, this this is prob there's probably like another block for this. Um, let's take a look at that. So what I'm using is the plate diagonal. Um, what about, what's this? Plate wedge. I mean, I know there's other ways we could do this. I'm just trying to see if I can get it this way to work first, and if I can't. You know, we'll go to, like, plan B, whatever the fuck that is. That's a different incline, right? Yeah, that's a lower. Ooh, that actually might be better anyway. I still think we're going to have the same challenge, though. Whoops. So the question is, how do I get one to attach to there? We need to put another one of these down uh let's do this here and one there so ha whoops has something to attach to copy block and rotation okay i i think it needs to extend further out than this though just because of the way that they pile up um oh okay well it that's not precisely what I had in mind, but that could work. Hmm. Kind of weird. But I think it'll work. And that may, that's probably all the further out we would need to go to prevent them from getting up on the roof, I think. Um, so I'm going to try this. And we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. So we'll up, yeah, let's upgrade. Do I have concrete in my inventory? I do, yeah. Okay, so let's upgrade all these to concrete. And you can see that I also, you know, now that I can make steel, I've got this front section steel, and I, I'll probably do, you know, more steel too as we go along. But I'm currently now out of iron to make the molten steel. I got the coal, but now I need the iron, so. All right, so let's get all of these upgraded to concrete. Oh, shit, I'm... <laughs> Damn it, Jim! I'm out of a board, so that means you got to go cut some trees to get logs to make make planks. Okay, well, I'll I'll work on this some more later. That's all I want to uh, do for it right now in this episode, because uh, we need to go find that tabletop. And if we do not find it by the end of this episode, then I'm gonna just buy the mission and do it. Um, but I wanna, you know, I wanna give it one more shot. Uh, plus, you know, in the doing of that, we're we're also going to make progress towards purges too. Because here's the thing. I don't have to completely clear a POI. If I start it and only do 25% of it, well, that 25% stays in place. So then I can come back and do the rest later. So even if we hit, like, say, five houses and we only kill, you know, whatever, 15, 20% of them, that counts for when we come back later to finish it off. So it's not a waste of time at all. And I definitely like that, that setup. Okay, this ammo we can take back to Elias. Oh, yeah, we got a treasure map, too. Um, That might be worth doing real quick. I don't know if... 
I think this is, is this, yeah, this is the same as the vanilla, right? The same text. I don't know if Ramsey's going to send a horde after us when we do a treasure map or not. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> we won't be surprised if he does. We'll put it that way. We might uh, have a few choice words about it, but we won't be surprised. Oh, fuck, I'm out of ammo again. Yeah, because that's the thing. I go to all the trouble to make ammo so we can go out and do POIs. Then a horde comes up. I expend all my ammo. And now we're out of ammo. <laughs> it's, never, it's a vicious cycle, man. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we got gunpowder. And I have... Uh, I've got bullets, but I don't have casings. So that means we need to go do some salvaging. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just repair this now to free up the slot since it's very close to needing to be repaired. Fuck, man. We don't have any ammo. Shit. Okay. I need to grab my ratchet. There it is. Okay. And this probably needs a repair kit too, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Do I have another repair kit? If not, we'll have to make one. But actually, this one I'm not going to use yet because we still have a little bit of stuff left on the ratchet. Um, I may not have, now that I think about it, I may not have actually wrenched all those air conditioners at the tool store. I did, I think I did in normal rebirth, but I don't know that I did in perch. I'm going to run over there, and if I haven't, I'm going to cut the camera, wrench those, get some brass... So I can make some bullets so that we can go out and do our thing. Let's check these news dispensers. Look at that, pumpkin pie. Okay. Oh, there we go. Are these... Those aren't landmines, are they? Uh, because landmines usually have, like, a little red LED on top of them. Hmm. That's a little sus, man. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna say no, but that's still weird. Why is that there? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so let's go run into the back here and hop up on the roof. Oh, I didn't get this brass either. Okay, so that gives a little bit of brass there. Um, I do want to wrench this for the steel, even though we can now make steel, but we'll get other good stuff from here as well, so we might as well just do it. There we go. All right, guys, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrench everything I can here to get me brass. I'm going to run over to the trader, scrap it, run back home, turn it into casings, turn it into bullets. And then when I have some bullets, I'll bring you guys back and we'll go hit some more POIs. All right. I got uh, a bunch of stuff here. Let's do an ammo exchange first. Um, I wrenched some cars and some other things too, just uh, to get it some more radiators. but. It's it's hard to come uh, by these brass radiators, Richard Cars. You can do it, but or, or can't get it, but it doesn't happen very often. Um, we're just going to sell all of this stuff because I've got plenty of it back at the base. Uh, actually, not that, though. I want to keep the iron. Uh, that we want to scrap. I want to hang on to that. I pulled all of these out of the trader. Uh, sorry, out of the store. And do we want to sell that battery? Yeah, I think we will. V8, yeah, I got all the engines and all that stuff back at the base, too. And I believe I have at least four car wheels. That I know we can make a, a mine out of, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, All right, so this and that can be sold. And this. Okay, so that gets us up to 5831. So we definitely have the money to buy that mission if... It ends up that being what we do, you know. Okay, let's make a 900 scrap brass. We also want to take all this stuff back to the base with me, too, that I put in there earlier. 
So I'm going to grab all the scrap brass, um, go back to the base, make the bullets, and then we will go hit a POI. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm just out here cutting wood while I'm waiting for my bullets to, to finish. And I think I discovered something. If you find these pine trees, I don't know, there's like ponderosa pines maybe or something, um, where, you know, they're, they're kind of bare until they get up a little higher with the foliage. Uh, you can get sap off of these trees, but I don't believe you get sap off of anything else, uh, as far as I can tell, anyway. So, yeah, see, we, we're getting a little bit of sap there. This one should also give us some sap. There we go. And then we'll we'll hit a couple of other trees that are not these uh, pines, and we probably won't get any sap. There's some more right there, too. Nice. Okay, so this is just an oak tree here. Now, I know we need the sap. Uh, we need the sap for the zombie paste or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, let's try... So, you know, this might be a, a younger version of that same tree. Let's see if we get sap from this one. Yeah, we do. Okay. So maybe... Is it like all pine trees? Okay, so this is a different type of pine here. Let's see if we get sap from this one. Yeah, it doesn't appear like you get sap from this style of pine. So it's got to be one of these these types here or, or the smaller, you know, less mature version of this. Let's see what it it actually takes uh, to make that. So, oh, zombie putty, that's what it is. All oh, right, we've got a we actually have to I guess we have a mission for this, don't we? We need 5 honeycomb. Oh, we need 25 tree resin. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to work on that anymore right now, but as I continue to cut wood, you know, because I'll need to, and I'm also clearing the woods out away from the tower, you know, so I have line of sight, right? Because otherwise I can't see him coming as well. So we'll eventually, you know, get 25 sap. I might, I might even have five more sap in storage now that I think about it, though. Uh, but I don't have five honeycomb. Yeah, I do. Okay, so there's the there's the sap requirement, or, or tree resin, I guess it's called. So yeah, I just need to go out and get some honeycombs, and I actually kind of need to do that anyways because I don't think I have any left. And then rotting flesh, that's that's no big deal, of course. And I'm just going to turn all of these logs into wood planks. Uh, we'll grab our bullets. That's 186 rounds. That's still not very many. But uh, it'll have to do, I suppose. Uh, we're starting to get a little thirsty. I've got, uh, I made a bunch of bacon and eggs after we went to that chicken farm in the last episode. Plus, I still have lots of meat for uh, grilled meat as needed. Let's take a couple more of those. And uh, our water's not that bad. Right, let's, let's just go. Okay, so the name of the game is to find some more POIs. With a tabletop stove. So let's move this way. My plan is to just hit the kitchens. And not the whole POI. Because like I had mentioned earlier, you know, we can come back later. And, uh, you know, finish them out. Here. See if we can kneecap some of these guys or gals, as the case may be. Oh. Fuck, man, we're going to use up all our ammo just in this one place. 
Miss fucker. Oh, fuck. All right. Let's call in our buddy. We're in the kitchen, but I don't see the desire of my heart. Son of a bitch. I might as well loot in here. There's still 23 zombs left in the place. We can't pick those up. I think I already have one of those baking pans. Okay. Just looking to see if there's anything that we can quickly loot. This purse. All right. That's useful stuff. All right, that's it. Let's go. Let's go find another place. What if I should be hitting smaller POIs just because, again, <laughs> we used half our ammo almost already. Just with that one place. Oh, okay. There's not usually a bunch of Zeeks in the upper floor here of uh, this place. Oh, wait. This is a... This is a different POI than it is a vanilla. Nice wrench. Those I'm in there. This is probably a hidden stash. Oh, it's a construction site. With nothing in it. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Uh, I know I can pick this stuff up, but let's just move. See, I thought this was, um, the place that has the big underground bunker. Oh, wow, look at all that cement. I'll take that. I'm trying to think of what the hell that place is called. We did it multiple times on the vanilla multiplayer server. Toronto Residence, yeah. Is, it, is this not the Serrano Residence? It says it's 66 Barnes Lane. It sure looks like the Serrano Residence. There's another propane tank. Uh, okay, where's the kitchen? That's a bedroom. That's the living room. There's the kitchen. Okay. This is a, a tier three also. I don't think it's going to be in here because you guys told me that it, it's either the microwave or the tabletop. And that has a microwave. Zombie police. All right. Let's see if we can ninja a couple things out of here without waking the dead. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to another place. Probably not going to find anything in the auto. I mean, they most likely there is a little kitchen in there. Law offices. I'm sure there's a kitchen in here. But exactly... Oh, wow, look at that. Nice. Oh, this is just a tier one. There's only seven Zeeks. Yeah, let's hop in here. Uh, how are we...
are we supposed to get in here? You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go this way. I don't care how we're supposed to get in here. <laughs> we're getting in here our own way. If you don't like it, tough shit. Tough shit, zombies. Oh, I just realized I've got a sprained leg. Didn't even know that. It's almost over, though, so... Oh, shit. Here's some brass. All right. Let's go here. Um, it looks like we're, we're going to find... Um, uh, more of the brass lamps in here. Oh man, I love that health bar. Okay, grab this. Oh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I wonder if I get the same amount of brass from just scrapping this, or I mean breaking it as opposed to scrapping it. I guess I should test that. All right, we have two Zeeks here. Let's, um, let's actually use our bow. We hardly ever use our bow. I can activate it for zombs. Okay, he did. He did. Look around while we're waiting for those guys. Is this something I can do anything with? I can pick it up. I wonder how much that's worth. No sell price. That sucks. All right. Worthless. Let's pick the laptop up. Did we check the sell price of these chairs? I can't remember. Um, yeah, six. Eh, not really worth taking up an inventory slot. I don't think. Is this worth anything? No sell price. Yeah. I didn't even mean to pick that up anyway. Well, we're going to be further ahead to just wrench these guys. Oh, 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 look what we found. <laughs> Finally. Oh, my God. Finally, you guys. Nice. Okay. Man, that took a long time. <laughs> it took a long time. Oh, I'm so happy. My life is complete now until the next horde comes along and eats me. Whew. Okay. I was starting to lose faith. <laughs> Not really, but, you know. It's like, I knew we'd come across it eventually, but that took a while. Ooh. Hey, let's celebrate. Oh, it's so good to see you. Now, we need another one of those, too, but the first one is going towards the distiller. All right, let's finish looting this place. We might as well, since we're here. That's the wall safe, and I have some lockpicks. Oh, that's kind of hard to see. Um, interesting. Okay, that's a little different than... Ugh. This is really hard to see, because it's, it's like black on black. Fuck. Okay, I need to be gentler here. I'm forcing it too much. He says as he breaks it. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, let's go back. Uh, no, nope, go this way a little bit. Got it. Cool. Ah, nice. We'll take the ammunition for sure. Nothing in there. Do you have any space, buddy? Not a whole lot. All right. That's sellable. We can get a bunch of leather from these couches. But I don't think I'll worry about that right now. That's just going to go back outside. Is this possibly a brass fixture? Uh, where did that go? Here. Yes. Oh, nice. All right, let's go put some stuff in the bike. This is actually a good POI to come to for brass, man. Okay, let's make sure we grab all of these, too. I need to remember to take doors apart, too, because that gives us brass. Bookshelf. We can get scrap brass out of these uh, boxes with the white text. Here's another lamp. Weapons bag. Very good. A barrel extender mod. I think that gives us better accuracy when we're aiming. Fat loots. Uh, all right, we'll take the 762s. We'll pick up the thingy. And grab the lights. Forty-two cement. I'll take it. Okay, I think we're done here. We definitely. Oh, that scared me. Uh, we definitely picked up a nice chunk of brass out of here. My guess is that we get. We'll probably get a little bit more for it by scrapping it as opposed to just breaking it but again that's something I would have to test unless you guys happen to know if you do just let me know in the comments let's drop off the trader scrap this brass sell the stuff go back to the base make ourselves a distiller hell yeah Okay, that'll give us a nice little chunk of brass. Um, let's go into wrecked here. I think that's it. Okay, so now we're up to seven thousand one hundred and sixteen. Shit, man! Cash. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. Buy a couple waters. And this well, this will hopefully be the last distilled water we have to buy. But we kind of need it right now, so. All right, we have 18 more seconds here. I'm just going to wait for this. Meet you guys back at the base. We'll make our distiller. All right, guys, we're back at the base. Let's get these bullet casings going. Nice, 314. That's, that's going to help. It is indeed. Uh, we'll put the murky in there. I need to go get some more gas and make some more Molotovs. We'll make a first aid bandage with that. And then uh, we'll put the cement in here and make more concrete mix. Okay, so to make the distiller, we need to... Oh, I should have done an ammo exchange. I think we're going to need to use this. And we need the normal distiller recipe. Oh, you know what, though? We need, first, we need to repair the gas stove. Right, okay. And that we do in our toolbox. Okay, so we get that. Oh, shit, that's going to take two minutes. All right, so we'll wait for that. And then 
um, everything else that we need to make the distiller, which I guess we also do in the toolbox. It's this recipe here. Let's track it. I already have it queued up uh, and waiting down here. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, right here. Okay, so there's the screws, the pipes, the water thingies. Am I am I completely out of iron? I bet you I am. Fuck. <laughs> That's ever, nothing's ever easy, man. Nothing is ever easy. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. I need I need gasoline. So I'm going to go rent some cars to get gas and also get the iron in the process. And then I'll bring you guys back cuz I'm we're not ending this episode till we have that fucking distiller made, man. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right, guys, so without uh, salvaging, and look what I found in a Mo Power Truck robotic sledge. Nice. I have one of those in my. Um, there's an elk. In my other playthrough, and it's actually quite handy. Um, so let's put that. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Okay. More meat for us. Um, He will attack me if I attack him, attack him so we're going to leave him be. Okay, yeah, so anyway, look at that. Got ourselves a robotic sledge. That's amazing. I think I'm going to put that in the number nine slot so we can throw it down quickly if we need to. In fact... I'm even going to move it over uh, by our other weapons. Okay, um, I ha definitely have enough iron now, but I figured I'd just keep salvaging for a little bit longer to get more gas. And also, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, I now have graduated to the yellow ratchet. Uh, so since steel is easy for us to make now, I'll probably just keep making the better one as we, we roll it over. And um, I'll see you back at the base here in just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, this is all the stuff that we wrenched. Uh, I had about 17, 1800 gas, uh, but I refuel, uh, refueled the mini bike. So we still have over a thousand of that. Um, let's just do a quick stack there to get rid of some of this stuff. And this stuff, I'm, I'm just going to sell it. I mean, I, I just don't need it, except for actually... Um, we should put this on the mini bike because the better quality headlight, the brighter the light is. Um, yeah, so let's do that. And then the rest of the stuff, yeah, I'll probably just take and, and sell because we've got gobs of it. All right. So we now have enough iron that we should be able to make the distiller. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It's been such a long time coming. <laughs> okay, let's wait for this sucker to finish and then uh, see what we can do with it. I'm going to make another 20 Molotovs, too, with that gas. And then the rest will probably just go down and put in the mini bike for extra fuel. All right, almost done. that in there okay we're up to almost 1300 concrete mix that's nice of course that'll go quickly it will indeed uh looks like i'm gonna need to go mine up some more gunpowder too uh but at least we have 381 rounds now that's good here we go okay so um let's put this over here in the kitchen area yeah that's probably a good spot for it Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so uh, we have an extra cooking pot. That's not a problem. So we just need... So I guess, yeah, there's no point in boiling water first because it looks like it uses the same... It's, it's a one-to-one -one ratio no matter what. So that's nice. And then to make beer, we need boiled water, coffee, dis... St distilled water so it looks like the the really good drinks uh well these three anyways require distilled water and goldenrod 
is uh, good for mining. So, does it tell us exactly? Well, I think the actual drink itself, uh, yeah, tells us. So, the red tea. Uh, stamina. Uh, okay, so I guess it just gives us the stamina regen, the run speed, and the carrying capacity for five minutes. That's really good. Yucca juice gives us digging and chopping buff. And then Prussian blue remedy is for curing radiation primarily. So we want to make goldenrod for mining and, you know, in case we get dysentery. Okay, so let's do this. Let's um, let's grab all of these empty jars because uh, I got my Molotov. So that's the only other thing I would need empty jars for, I think. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, recipes. Yes, that's the only thing I you use them for aside from... Okay, so for these boiled waters... We could make beer. Well, actually, yeah. No. We need three hops. Okay, so we can't make beer, but we can make coffee. I've got some coffee beans. Um, No, that's distilled water. What was the other one that needed just boiled water? It was yucca juice. And... Uh, yucca juice is... The, okay, yeah, that's one for digging and chopping. All right, let's go back down and... Well, actually, let's go all the way down, and we'll get uh, some water. Uh, we just have a, a ditch right over here. Oh, shit, there's a bear over there. Um, We should probably kill him because otherwise he's gonna he's gonna wander back over here and cause us some issues oh all right is our guy still with us yeah he is okay uh, bear I'm going to be, oh shit, I was going to say, I'm going to be a pussy. <laughs> Let them guys handle it, but maybe the bear has other ideas. Oh my god. He likes to aggro on me. Okay, good, they got his attention again. He's totally focused on the Merc and not Nick. I don't have health bars for bears, though, so I can't tell. Okay, well, the Merc's done. He just ran out. His time ran out, so. So let's let Nick take a few licks, and then we'll we'll finish him off if Nick gets uh, in really bad shape or the bear comes after me. I don't know if this does anything against a bear or not. Let's just put it down. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't knock him down, but it could maybe damage him a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and start helping out here. There we go. That worked out pretty good. I don't know if Nick thinks so. <laughs> but uh, we got the full the full butchering here. So that's 31 pieces of meat. Very nice. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. Poor Nick. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry red tea with me all the time because of the speed bonus and all that other stuff. And then we'll, you know, we'll use that for like when we get into combat and stuff. And then of course we'll have a batch of goldenrod for mining. And um, a little bit of yucca if I need to go cut trees or or just dig clay. All oh, right, we needed to find the, whoops, uh, find the cooking pot. Oh, actually, those are probably in the oven. That's normally where I would put them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so we should save some murky water 
We can't make beer until we do hops flowers. We can make, yeah, let's make some yucca juice. You don't have the necessary resource. What? Oh, I'm, I'm, I got that bass backwards. I only have one and it says I need four. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, we're just going to make a Mondo batch of distilled water. I think I'll hang on to the 12 boiled water. Um, but I also, oh yeah, we're going to need to make activated charcoal too. Uh, so let's just make 23 distilled water for now, and then I'll make more active. But what I was saying is I don't want to burn up all of my murky because, you know, we need it for glue too. So I think what I'll do on that, we'll put the boiled water up here. And I think I will put the, uh, let's say, I mean, it's not, it's not like it's hard to get, right? But let's keep 20 murky waters in here and I won't broadcast. And then the rest of these, uh, we'll just make some more charcoal. Let's see, let's put that stuff away. Um, charcoal. Okay, so how do we make that? Oh, probably in here, right? Ground charcoal. Okay, so we can do 30 of that. The charcoal itself, though... Oh, no, we need activated charcoal. All right, how do we do that? <laughs> I think it's time to end the episode... <laughs> We need another fucking tabletop stove. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, that's just not fair. Oh, man. All right. Well, guess what we'll be doing in the next episode? We'll be once again looking for a tabletop stove. In fact, we need that to make the calcium chloride, too. Nothing's ever fucking easy, man. Holy shit. All right, well, I'm going to keep this in here. At least we were able to, you know, to make this much, so we'll be okay for water for the next couple days anyways. All right, you guys, I better let you go here. So I'm going to, what am I going to do between this episode and the next? Um, probably just do some mining, uh, work on the, you know, the horde base some more. I, I've got plans for up here too. I have not forgotten about up here, and I have not forgotten about our farm. But I think the highest priority right now is to get that horde base done so we can actually use it. And um, also beefing up the defenses on the tower, too. Uh, my thought for that, by the way, is that... Yeah, here, let's just go back down. Uh, my thought for that is... I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to start fortifying the blocks around the bottom of the tower, too. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just pick up all these spikes and we're going to just start building up a, a big buttress, you know, probably, I don't know, four blocks high, maybe around and just make, make it really thick down here. And then, you know, when, when we get to the point where we can do like electric fences and that sort of thing, you know, then we can add more defenses, put turrets up, that sort of thing. Uh, I know that I think when I turn level 50 and we are 24 right now. Um, we start getting these things called seekers and they're pretty nasty from what I understand and they can blow up your base. So yeah, that'll be fun when the time comes, I'm sure. In terms of our progress, we are, um, so yeah, we're, we're almost 60% of the way through soldier level three. And then once we hit that, then we can start getting machine guns to level three and you can see the, all the perks we get for that up there axes is you know lagging behind but you know we'll we'll get caught up on that eventually in terms of crafting yeah we can we still haven't unlocked yet the even just the steel axe yet uh we'll get there eventually um 
We could make a yellow M60. Because we can, we're not making any more progress on that until we hit level 3 on Soldier. So it might not be a bad idea to do that. And I can also make the yellow ratchet too. Let's go here and let's swap out these headlamps. This headlamp will be a little bit brighter. And then some other stuff I'm just going to go sell at the trader. So, um, what would it take to make an M60? All right. Can I, do I, can I do that? Let's go, before I let you go, let's see. Because if we can get the yellow one, not only is it just flat out going to be a little bit stronger anyway, but it's also going to uh, have another mod slot, I believe. I got shit all over the place. Okay, so we've got, we got magazines. Uh, here. I think we, I think we can do this, actually. All right, so let's do the medium magazine. Handle. Medium handle. And medium barrel. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. So we'll be able to make ourselves a yellow M60. That's a beautiful thing. While I'm at it, can I, uh, do I make the ratchet in here or do I make that in the normal toolbox? I make it in here and we've got the stuff. Let's do it. Okay. We'll grab all of those. And now we're going to make a yellow M60 and that'll take 30 seconds. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to restart that. It's not a big deal. Okay, so right now on this M60, we have the drum mod and the hunter mod. So we'll take that off. This, we should, it might be, well, we actually probably should hang on to this as a backup weapon now that I think about it. So, yeah, we're going to hang on to it for as a backup. So this is my box that I'm not broadcasting from. So we'll stick that in there. Um, we could do the barrel extender mod. We could do the recoil mod or the foregrip mod. Or the retracting. Uh, cripple them. That's only for legs, right? Yeah. We got a scope mod. We don't need magazine extender. I'm just grabbing all of these and then I'll kind of have to... Uh, we got the bipod too. Have to just weigh the pros and cons, right? Um, we don't need a full auto because it's already fully automatic. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do is, just for shits and giggles, there's the comparison. Okay, so this does almost four more points of damage, has three more meters, I guess, of range, and an extra mod slot. Nice. Okay, so modify. We absolutely want the drum magazine. So what is going to make the next most sense? Probably, again, the hunter mod, just because there's so many dangerous animals around here. And then do we want to look down a sight? Um, oh, I guess we can't put the retracting. Do we want to reduce recoil? Uh, which also means we're more accurate. Improves handling and accuracy for more damage. Um, yeah, this is for this is for aiming. I mean, I aim a decent amount of time with this weapon, but not all of the time. So, I'm thinking. I I don't know which one of these is. You know, I think they. This is going to keep the gun from bucking quite as much. This is going to keep it the our I think it'll keep our crosshairs closer, you know, the spread from spreading out so more uh, quickly. Let's go with the foregrip mod. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. All right. That is a nice improvement, guys. Very nice improvement. Um, and, you know, by adding a third mod to it, we also increased its damage even more. 
So we're going to pack a little bit more of a punch now. It's a good thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.